Hello, this time we will make a negative filter effect, which is often used in the camera filter function using post process. First, create a material and open it. To use the post process feature, set the materials blend mode to post process. Next, create a scene texture node and set it to post process input zero to get the post process effect. Then you cannot add a color that is of type float 3 because the scene texture node is of type float 4. So change the format from float 4 to 3. We use the component mask node to extract three channels except for the alpha channel. Connect the nodes to the emissive color and you will see the background as usual. Next, if you create a one minus node and connect the nodes as shown in the video, the colors of the entire landscape are inverted. Now let's add some color. Hold down keyboard three and click to create a constant three vector node and create a multiply node. Change the constant three vector node to a parameter so that it can be changed in the material instance and set the color as shown in the video. Then multiply the scene texture node and the constant three vector node. Then you can see a little bit of blue added to the overall color. Once again, create a multiply node. Hold down S on the keyboard and click the left mouse button to create a parameter node. Then, as in the video, connect the nodes to set the brightness of the overall color. When finished, save and return to the content drawer. Create a material instance using the material created so far. Next, find your character's blueprint and open it. Click the Add button in the upper left to add a post process. Add post process material array in post process rendering features. And set the asset reference to set the material instance you created earlier. Now when you play, the world will appear in reverse colors. Thank you.